In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the holes of the skull that you're responsible for. So we're going to start with finding the cella tersica, which is a feature of the sphenoid bone. It's located medially and fairly anteriorly. So I've made this little person that is sitting in the cella tersica, or the Turkish saddle. So imagine they're riding the skull. So they have their arms through the optic canals. I'll pull one arm out so you can see the optic canal runs through here. The other arm is located in what is the left optic canal right here. Again, their pelvis is sitting in the cella tersica, and the legs are hanging directly downwards laterally. This is the foramen lacerum, and you're not held responsible for it, but it is a nice landmark for helping you find the other holes that you are responsible for. So, you do need to know the carotid foramen, which is shown here in pink. On the other side, it would be located right here. This blue is foramen ovale. You can see that it is an oval-shaped hole, and that is located right here on the other side. And this purple is foramen rotundum, and that's going to be found right here on the other side of the skull. Moving posteriorly, on the other side of the carotid canal, we have the internal auditory meatus, or the internal acoustic meatus, and that is shown right here on the other side of the skull. Moving further posteriorly, we have the jugular foramen, which is found between the temporal and the occipital bones. On the other side, that would be found right here. And then moving further posteriorly and more medially, we have the foramen magnum, which is the largest hole in the skull. Now if we look from an exterior lateral view, we can see the external auditory meatus, shown on the other side, right here, external auditory meatus. And I've connected the purple so that you can see the external going inwards to the internal. Let's get a good view there. So then on the other side, that is our internal. And again, keep in mind that the internal auditory meatus is on the other side of this ridge found in the temporal bone from the carotid. From an anterior view, you have three holes in the orbit that you should be familiar with. One, we've already discussed, the optic canal. It comes through the back corner of the orbit. On the other side, this is where the optic canal can be seen. You also have two fissures. You have one superior and one inferior. So the blue shows the superior orbital fissure up here. On the other side of the skull, it can be seen right here. And then the purple shows the inferior orbital fissure. Inferior, it's down at the bottom. Again, on the other side of the skull, this is the inferior orbital fissure. This pink marker indicates the olfactory foramina, which are these small holes seen within the cribriform plate of ethmoid. They're going to allow the olfactory nerve to pass through down into the nasal cavity. You can see the little bit of pink coming through the cribriform plate, through the olfactory foramina, and into the nasal cavity. From an inferior view, we can see the foramen magnum located in the occipital bone. This is the largest hole in the skull. It's located posteriorly as well as medially. Moving further anterior in the skull, we see the jugular foramen shown here in blue. You can see that right here on the other side of the skull. The carotid canal or the carotid foramen is shown here in pink and that can be seen right here on the other side of the skull. The yellow is the foramen lacerum. You're not held responsible for it, but keep in mind it's directly lateral to the cella tersica, so it's a good landmark for you. This anterior blue marker is the foramen ovale, and that can be seen right here on the other side of the skull. The purple is the external auditory meatus, and that can be seen right here on the other side. And notice that some of these teeth are missing in the maxilla. So these holes, each hole is one alveolus. 
plural, we call them alveoli. And they're found in the maxilla. They're also found in the mandible. So here's our mandible. Again, you can see where a tooth is missing, we have a hole. That hole is an alveolus.